Hey guys, welcome to 30 Hour Review. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to be putting on stickers to a welding helmet and protecting them so they don't fade or peel a couple days later. Um, there is a few things you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need some heat via a hair gun or a hair dryer or a heat gun. Uh, you're going to need some clear coat, whether that's gloss or uh, flat. It all goes to you, but just whatever you do, make sure it is UV protectant. And also you're gonna need one of these felt tip squeegees that they use for vinyl wrapping. Last of all, you're gonna need an X-Acto knife. And then of course, you're gonna need your stickers and your helmet. Um, yeah, I would highly recommend if you're gonna do this, go to Redbubble and order you some transparent stickers. A, it helps out a local artist. B, they look bitchin' when you do it right. So let's just right, jump guys. into this. So the first step's gonna be to start all this up is you're gonna need to disassemble your helmet. Um, I already started on that blue one, the Attack of Force YC-10 on the left. This is my new one. I just started this as a little side project and then I thought I might as well show you guys how to do this on the pancake. Now, curves and stuff are gonna be a lot more complicated and you are gonna have to take your time and I just started this way before I even thought about doing this video. So, if you guys want to see that, maybe leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, and say, hey, I want to see you guys do more complicated videos. I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, so yeah, your next step pretty much is going to be completely taking the wood box and everything off the outside shell of the pancake. And just so you guys see, there is going to be these screws up front that go directly into the balsa wood box, and then these three down here. Once you remove that, the box should just slide right off, and yeah, you're ready to go. All right, guys, as you guys can see, I already got the shield off of the wooden box. My hardware is off to the side, and these are the two graphics I'm going with for this pancake. As you can see, they're pretty large, and the cool thing about them is they are a clear background. You can actually see where it's laser cut. It's not a white background, so when we slap this over that red fiber, material will actually still be visible. Um, this is going to be really hard to line up. Obviously, you're going to have to cut some parts out, and I'm just going to go ahead and kind of partially stick them on there and then show you what's next. And one last very important thing, make sure you wipe everything down with alcohol. This is one of the biggest steps. You want any lint, any type of dirt, anything completely off of your material that you're going to be sticking this to because it will cause bubbles and it will cause separation. And that's part of the problem. If you want this to look right, you actually have to put the prep work into it. So please just make sure you wipe everything down with like a lens cleaning wipe. It's got alcohol in it and it should sanitize the situation. Um, also make sure you use a little bit of alcohol on your fingertips because it will take off that natural oil that will separate stickers. All right, after you've slapped your sticker where you want it and you're happy with the placement, the next step is pretty simple. You're gonna grab squeegee and any of those spots where you can kind of see a little bit of white, that means that there's air trapped in there. Use that felt side and start squeezing out the air and moving it to the edge and that will get it to seal the best. Now, sometimes when you're pulling these vinyl type stickers out, they'll wrinkle a little bit. You can kind of see it right there towards the thigh. You just gotta have to work that out. After you get the air out, we're gonna bust out the hair dryer and just kinda let it heat it up and kinda let it form. All right guys, now we got most of the bubbles out. We got it pretty much formed to where I want it. And now we're gonna apply some heat and we're gonna get these edges and where these holes are supposed to be formed into the actual sticker and like molded part of it. So now it's hot, you're just going to grab your squeegee, go to get any more air bubbles that you found out of there. 
And then, for example, here where these holes are, I'm just going to slam that squeegee in there. And try to get it to seal up on the inside. Now that right there is not actually an air bubble. That's just one of the other screws. And yeah. So after that, we're just going to trim everything up with a razor blade. So now trimming with the X-Acto knife, you kind of want to make sure that the edge of your sticker gets trimmed completely out. So you want to lay your razor blade on the edge at a little bit of an offset and just kind of roll it on the actual edge. And you should be able to get a nice, clean, consistent cut. As you can tell right here, same thing, just cut it all out. Inside, I just make a little X and then I push the actual bolt through and that way it just makes the sticker stick on the inside of that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the other vinyl on. That one is not. All right, guys, so of course the last step is you're going to want to clear coat everything. I would highly recommend you do at least like three coats. But yeah, first coat, you want to go light and you just barely wanted to get like mist it on there. And then from there, uh, you just wait 10 minutes or so. This just helps the clear coat stick to what it's actually, you know, what you're painting. And you just want to give it 10 minutes or so for it to like tack on. After that, you're going to want to do your first coat and that one you want to do heavy. Uh, just make sure you spray wet, like everything looks clear and wet and you should have some pretty good results by the end of it. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start working on this and we'll see what it looks like when I'm done. All right, guys. Now, no one likes this part, but this is a very important part. You guys got to wait like 24 hours to like 48 hours before you even like reassemble your entire helmet. Um, this will give it time for the clear coat to actually cure and bond to the actual like sticker and the helmet itself. And in this time, it starts hardening. So like if you absolutely have to, I'd wait at least 12 hours for it to like fully be dry to the touch and then I guess I would assemble it and then just leave it alone for a few days. Um, this will ensure that you have the best cohesion between the paint and the helmet and at the same time it will make sure that everything gets protected. Um, but yeah so just wait it out now. So 24 hours later and I've gone ahead and reassembled everything and yeah this is pretty much done. I would um give it maybe a couple more days just to set and let the uh, clear coat harden and become stronger. But yeah, guys, leave a comment and subscribe for the next 30 hour review.